Number four. If you do not re-raise an exception in your exception handler, then the outer block does not even know that an error has occurred. Hey, I'm just saying, I gotta point this out. So suppose you've got one subprogram, a procedure, calling another subprogram, a procedure, or a nested block. Each one of those blocks can have their own exception section. Suppose the inner subprogram fails with an exception. We trap the exception inside that called subprogram. I log the error and then I don't re-raise the exception or some other exception. So control passes back to the invoking procedure and it keeps on going. It doesn't know that anything happened wrongly in the inner subprogram or block. That might be just what you want, but make sure that if you do not propagate the exception out of an inner block, it will continue processing and that should be what you want. If not, use the raise statement or raise application error to ensure that the outer block also fails or stops with an exception. Let's take a look in live SQL. Alrighty, so my if exception not re-raised no more exception script. Let's take a look at statement one. Statement one. So just to reinforce what I said before, and you'll see it on statement three as well, if you call the SQL code function outside of an exception section, so in other words, there's no current error, SQL code returns zero. Statement two. SQL code invoked via a nested subprogram from the exception section. So I want to make sure you know that, yes, if you call SQL code and it's not inside an exception handler, when an exception has been raised, it returns zero. But in your code, you can construct it so that inside your exception section, you call a procedure. That procedure, which is not inside the exception section in your code, calls SQL code. It will return the current error code. Statement three. Okay, let's watch the... SQL code value change depending on where it is. So in my overall block, I have a nested block that assigns a value big string, 10 characters long, to a variable that's only allowed to have five characters in it. That causes the PLSQL engine to raise the value error exception. I trap it. I display a message. And then I continue processing. So here's that example where I have not re-raised the same exception or raised another one. And therefore, at the end, outside of that nested block, Everything keeps on humming along as if there never was an error, but as you see, the SQL code is now zero. There is no exception, so we keep on going. And that's what you want to watch out for. It's okay to allow an, an inner block to close and sort of swallow up the exception so that the outer block keeps going, but you want to make that decision very carefully. 